Yes! You see the husband running away? Do you have plans on being pregnant? Oh, hey, honey. Yeah? I didn't see you there. Welcome to my hotel room tour. Are you even looking, sir? Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to the vlogs. It is officially a somewhat less gloomy, somewhat less rainy and dark outside. You know when I was in high school, I hated watching scary movies, but I always went to the movies to watch scary movies with like guys that I like, so I can be like, oh my god, I'm so shit honey I mean not to guys but like you didn't go with girls yes you did don't lie to me are you even listening god today's gonna be one of those days I'm literally about to get wild we are talking wild animals no but really I feel like this is a really bad transition like everything sounds bad right now but we're about to go check out some wild animals if you guys don't know South Korea is famous for having cafes with animals so <laughs> I'm very confused. They have dog cafes. I think they actually have opened up a couple dog cafes in the States But in Korea, I think it started here or either Japan They have cat cafes dog cafes and these days now they have like they rescue like raccoons and they have a raccoon cafe They have sheep cafe and today we're gonna be going to one that has meerkats It's called meerkat and friends and I heard it's super fun. I heard they take super good care of the meerkats I just hear it's a crazy experience. I've never personally. I don't think I've seen a meerkat before we're gonna go see them and pet them and you get like 10 minutes with them in like this enclosed space where they feel comfortable and it's like I'm just really excited to see them so let's head on over I'm waiting for my dad currently to wake up Andropa and meet us at the hotel so we're gonna be in the car in the gloomy traffic gloomy weather in three two one first stop is an eyeglass place but look at their cute ass umbrella holder wow this is so traditional 25. so this is like a traditional Five, eight, korean eye exam right now three nine six four thank you hey you're good yeah I'm you good. passed the test dude you should show them what that did earlier that was so cool yeah so we just got done with my fiance's eye exam and i will say this they have much more of a traditional eye exam process here but it looks it looks nice it looks fancy and they do the eye exams for free with or without insurance so if you guys are in South Korea and you don't want to pay for an eye exam, literally come. As long as you purchase some glasses, but they're all very cheap here. My fiance tried on a pair of glasses and he goes, what? <laughs> He said, don't, stop asking him things. <laughs> and he goes, hey babe, do you like these? And I say, and I said that I like them. And then he shows my dad and my dad goes, ah. And he goes, please don't ever ask me. He's cool. Are you guys ready for this? Ready? In three, two. <laughs> I gotta show my dad. I gotta show my dad. I thought that. <laughs> hey honey, what glasses are you getting? A go getter? <laughs> so we just got out of the glasses place and it was so hectic. It's a lot, I wouldn't say it's like exponentially cheaper unless you're getting cheaper frames because I think here they have frames that start at $10 and then they have lenses that start at $10. So technically you could get like prescription glasses for $20 or something like that in Korea. So we got some glasses. I think he, he decided to pick some fancier glasses and some fancier lenses. So we're gonna wait to pick those up super fast here. I realize that everything in Korea is very instant. Like People don't like to wait for anything, even people on the streets, okay? People don't even like to wait for pedestrians. So usually if you get like your eye exam and then you order glasses with frames in the States, it takes like what, like a week or two to get to your house or to be shipped to you. But here it takes 30 to 40 minutes to put the lenses into the frames and everything. And that's like, um, that's kind of like your minimum. So but it's the eye, just And the eye wild. exam only took like 15 minutes, yeah. 10, 15 minutes. It was which is wild. Crazy. So instant. We're about to go to a teeth whitening place because that's also something that's really nice about Korea I just remember when the last time I came I got like all of like this like random like I got my eye prescription done and like a bunch of eyeglasses done too but Korea is really good with healthcare so we're gonna get our teeth white and professionally lasered which in the States would cost about three thousand dollars even if you have insurance I don't think insurance will cover most whitening costs but if you do still like three thousand dollars but it's a hundred and fifty dollars here for the same procedure guys those are my x-rays because my dad was sitting outside they whispered to me the two women that took me into the room to do the x-ray they come up close to my and there go do you have plans on being pregnant 
and I say no. They whisper to you? Because the x rays, you can't do them when you're pregnant, really bad for your baby. So I think they were trying to ask me, but like they didn't want to expose me if I was, and nobody knew about it outside because the door was open. So I was like, no, guys, don't worry. So we got all of three of us x rays done, and it was so creepy because you go in, they tell you in Korean, close your eyes, don't open them, and then they leave the room, and then you just hear like a Korean robot going, 안녕하세요. And it just like is so creepy and then it tells you and then here you hear machine whirring and at one point I was like this is final destination This is gonna whir a screwdriver right into my forehead and I'm gonna die So we're waiting here for the doctor We're all gonna get our teeth whitened which everyone's kind of slightly confused why my fiance is doing it His teeth are already very white so we shall see My fiance and I just got out of the little dentist place My, my sister's fiance Andrew but is gonna get his teeth completely whitened It's gonna be about an hour and they're gonna be really sensitive and we were debating of doing it because it does cost like $3,000 in the States and it's $150 here, but we decided against it because they said literally we're not even gonna see a difference because they said our teeth are pretty white. And they were trying to see, even with Andrew, but his teeth were a lot whiter for his age and like his lifestyle of, you know, he had a past of smoking cigarettes and his teeth are actually very, very white for someone who hasn't had whitening, especially like compared to like usually the types of people, like on an average, they say nine out of 10 times, it's a lot less white than what he came in with so they're kind of assuming something about living in America makes your teeth whiter than in Korea what? and yeah they're they saying say maybe the toothpaste is stronger and less so okay so the dentist and also like the people who are helping us they're kind of suspecting that there must be something in the states that's different from Korea that makes people's teeth get like less so yellow so quicker they're suspecting. yeah they're suspecting <laughs> so maybe it's toothpaste maybe the toothpaste the in America conspiracy. has like whitening effects like all of them States. or it could be my dad and I were thinking it might be because of coffee so Koreans like to drink all of their liquids pretty hot if not like lukewarm that's including coffee teas all your drinks they're all super oh my gosh it's so cold they're all super hot and Americans really like ice drinks and we drink a lot of iced coffee with a straw and you guys know coffee is known to make your teeth yellow and even sodas here if you order a soda they don't give you a straw in the States it's like oh here's a soda here's a glass of ice and here's a straw so we might be thinking those are the reasons but if you guys know leave it in the comments we're waiting for Andrew put to get finished it's gonna take about an hour and a half and we've decided to go eat some hot pot because it's so cold outside today I think it's because it was raining all last night and all day yesterday. It's freezing and I'm wearing like nothing. There was an older lady just passing out those flyers that my dad picked up. They might as well grab your hand and stick it in yeah, your he hand. Almost stick, yeah, he almost stick into my underwear. <laughs> like a little stripper. <laughs> Everything's super festive to these like cherry blossoms right now because they're in season. Uh, my fiance is like it doesn't make sense. The so cherry blossoms are in season. So every storefront puts out fake cherry blossoms. Is that what's going on? <laughs> me trying to do artsy people, but also me. <laughs> Right now, I need to buy a jacket. We just stopped into Zara before lunch because I'm freezing. This, this is what you want me? This is not gonna keep me warm. Do you like it? It's like that throw back. It's kinda cool. Oh my, my dad says <laughs> I look cool. Let me show you guys. I do look kinda cool. I look very Korean in this, but I look cool. What do you guys think? I love that Korea is unisex everything. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, this is like K-drama vibes. And she's doing the most with the pinkest blazer I've ever seen in my entire life. We got to the Heidi Lao in Korea. I know you guys are gonna judge me, but they do everything differently here. But honey, you can get your nails done while you wait. That's so cool. While you wait, actually, it's free nail art service. Shut the front door. Oh my god! Guys, the food just came. The sauce bar is a little bit confusing. It's a lot more Korean here. So they've got this seaweed salad. They also have plates of kimchi. This is the beef. We've got lamb, more beef, and then we've got pork slices, Chinese little dumplings. And they do things a little bit differently here. So like the hot pot is split into two. He's got sauces. We got all of our veggies to go. And let's just, let's see if it's better than LA. And we have completely cleared the plate, guys. I'm gonna go meet my dad downstairs. Hello! Oh! My 
bottom hurts like crazy right now. It's an absolute rainy ass shit show right now and we've made it to this little tiny alley. If I'm allergic to cats, does that mean I'm allergic to meerkats or do I sound like an absolute idiot with that right now? I guess we're gonna find out. So we're gonna go into the cafe. So to get in to see the meerkats, you have to buy a drink per person and I think it's a $10 coffee and we go in and that's your admission and you get a coffee. So let's go. I can't drink house. coffee. You'll get a water. <laughs> He got his teeth white and so he can't drink coffee. So it has little meerkats here. It has meerkats on the door. Oh, so we gotta take off our shoes, put them on here before we enter. So then they said we enter and put on the slippers that they have. Okay, here's a slipper for you. Precious. They're tiny. I think they're dating. They're I think, dating. I think they're, they're dating. You think so? No, That's a married. realistic. <laughs> you know what? See the husband running away? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Aww, that's so funny. I'm inside of the meerkat pen. And look, hello, are you biting me? Hello. They're trying to bite my buttons. Whoa! <laughs> they jumped onto my fiance. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't think you should go in there. Okay, you're in there. Here, do you need help getting out? There you go. Oh my god, you're the meerkat with. They're so cute. Why do you have all the meerkats? What's so going cute. on? I think he's the meerkat whisperer. Why don't you have any? I don't think the meerkats <laughs> like me. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Sure. Hi. Does that one just keep coming back to you? I am meerkatless. Oh, okay. <laughs> What are you digging for? Oh my god, oh my god, he's going Oh my gosh, there's another one digging at me. You got one. I got one. Guys, it's raccoon time. Oh my gosh, guys, there's finally raccoon. Peace. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, guys, that was wild. This is what we call right here a trustworthy mail system. <laughs> I would say about nine and ten Koreans are wearing trench coats right now, and that's just the thesis. Go into the main street right now, where all the shops are. It's about to be wild. I feel like I'm on Animal Planet. Oh my God! I heard. Yeah. It's on the list of good food in Korea. You want a toast? That's the one I bought you. Oh, that's Isaac toast? Yeah. Same brand? Yeah. You want in Kangna? Yeah. Oh, you want one? Wow, there's an umbrella holder. Wow. What a little romantic street we've got. Wow, that's good. Wow. Snatching grabs, snatching goes. Now that's a sign for stealing. And it even shows you what's in there. It's so soft. 
soft. Oh, and they're like, don't you try, babe. So here you go. We are looking for the most optimal game set right now. I'm trying to see who did all of the work for me and I can just go in there and literally snatch that ass out of there. So snatch we gotta, that. you think that'll snatchable? That's snatchable, you think so? I like this peach. I'm really gonna put this on our key when we get home. So you better watch out, you better take a, <gasps> I love her, Do that's it. me. Or this one, I like this one. That's too much, that's way too much. Do that one, huh? Okay, okay, ready? Do you think that one's too close? That yeah. One? Oh yeah. No, it shouldn't be. You think? Yeah, you wanna try? Ready? We're doing it. Check on the side. You good? Right there? Uh, it's too late. Oh my god. No Wait. freaking. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. This is how it gets you, dude. I'm ready to literally put my 401k into this bank. <gasps> Don't breathe. Yes! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, Henry got one. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We are being so obnoxious right now. <laughs> I have to play all the games. So this is not a scam, huh? I think I'm a master Let at me the see. claw machine. Let me see. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow. Know. I like that one. You do? You think you can get it though? Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh. Stop shaking. I didn't shake. I no, didn't I shake. think I'm a shake. Oh. Should we try again? Yeah, you have to. He almost got it. Stop shaking. No! Did I get her a, a ring? What's that, like $20,000 right there? Nah, it's probably more. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are so stupid, I love it. I'm gonna go for it. Oh my god. You gotta go down more? Oh, okay, wait. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, what? No. Uh, They're oh, way too heavy. It's too big. Yeah. yeah. More? Yeah. Ah, so close. Okay. Good? Good. Oh, you got it. Uh, Get me a big one, boo. These are the dollar games. We at the big boys club. You gotta go up. Oh. But the thing is Should we try again? You gotta get this one, no? No, I want that one. Okay. Try again? Yeah. Got he's, me all like he's invested. He's big now. What the hell? No, you gotta Hold press it. it. How would I know this? That's the secret. That's the catch. You gotta stop it right at the. Cause it uh, won't go down. Yeah. Oh, you gotta hook it on and it'll pull out. So it will. This. Some people get it on their first try, boo. I don't understand though. Oh, it this wasn't that hard at all. Familial struggles here, guys. Families are being broken. <laughs> no. no. <Stop. laughs> Look, it'll spin. You see that? Oh yeah. Last one. This guy is like five dollars on this thing. You could have bought me one for five dollars outside. <laughs> oh, but you gotta get top and tell him. I can't tell him. Let go. No. 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 I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so hard. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow, this game sucks. So they just left it right at the opening for the next people. It's about to get intense, guys. I don't know how that head was too small for the head. Alright, another attempt is being made. $500 in debt. I'm just kidding. Seems easy. Yes. Get it. I'm trying not to go for that. I'm trying to go for the head. Right there? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. It was 176. 
$250 later, <laughs> the loser goes to... <laughs> and we're out. Oh my god, honey, look, it's a karaoke. Oh it's karaoke. Guys, I came out victorious or the biggest loser of them all. We're still debating. But this is from Jiang Arcade, which is in Hongdae, like off the beaten path on the main street. If you look up Jiang Arcade, which is, if you spell it in English, it's Ja, like jajangmyeon but like jang so J J A N G. if you guys are wondering and abyss is victorious so tell me if you guys win anything and both of them are matching my blazer today look at this <laughs> let's get this party started we are back in a place called myeongdong and mainly just straight up because we wanted to pick up some street food so i can take it home to the hotel and film it so we came in the middle of this rainy weather with a gym bag filled with tupperware so i could transport that shit back without it crying and if that's not the most extra thing you guys have heard today, what's good, what's poppin' biz? Tell me what y'all did, leave it in the comments. Hi, my name is Stephanie, we're in a rush, but um, a quick soft break. <laughs> okay, so if you get 11, it's $10. So you can pick any 11 you want. I want these cherries. Are they too cute? No, for with sneakers, you don't think that'll be cute. Peach, strawberry. Hey, you want some um minions? You want some Pokemon? Immediately we just got hit with a delicious smell right now. It's raining all day, so I'm a little bit nervous that most of the people weren't here, but they are here and they all have these cute little rain tents. Oh my gosh. First purchase, strawberry daifuku mochi. Going in the tableware. <laughs> Don't squish them, boo. They're delicate. We gotta get the egg tart. How many? One? 감사합니다. Open that tableware, boo. I knew that they weren't gonna have to go containers. We are so intelligent. Nicely. That's crazy. We look like we're stealing something. So right now, the first step is to look at everything first right now so we can just be a little bit smart with our food space and our stomach and our Tupperware inside of our gym bag. So we're going down the busy street. I mean, it was raining all day today, but that's not gonna stop the workflow, the hustle, the grind. I'm like trying to see what everybody's eating because look at these. These are fish cake skewers. Oh my okay, God. we gotta come back for those. Those are on my list. Yeah, they've got some beef steak. Wow. It's only seven dollars. Wow. I don't know, but that's like the biggest thing of oil that I've ever seen being fried on a stove top in my entire life. Honey, this is crazy. Oh, they have that on uh, the show. Really? What show? Yeah. We need to get that. Wow, these are crazy stuff. Ice cream. Oh, look at these honeycombs. <gasps> I've always wanted the dark What is this? <laughs> Getting it in. Go to Myeongdong, the subway exit. Literally called Myeongdong Exit 4. Myeongdong Exit 4. That's huge. Ooh, what's in there? Red beans, sweet potato, cheese, custard, banana, and Nutella. Hey, it's so exposed. Okay, ready? I'm getting so much. On my life, I have been waiting for this day right here. Oh my god. How tall is she gonna go? How tall? What will it end? It will never end. Oh my god. Thank you. It's starting to pour down on us and I've got a giant ice cream. Um, how do you go? And... Wow! It's so good! So they dust it with cheese. Like a caramelized tapioca on a fried Banana guys, look at that banana here. We've got some, I'm not really sure what that box is, but it looks delicious. It's so nice. He is the only one in South Korea that sells it like this. So if you guys are in Myeongdong, come check out his fried bananas. Do they have... Do you want a Spam no. or a Prugogi? Yeah. My eyeballs 
left the chat. <laughs> what did you say? I just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about today's full jam-packed touristy have an ass day in South Korea. This is my pretty much second to last day. I have tomorrow is a completely full day and then on Sunday we're leaving to go back to the States and it's just gonna be traumatic for me. It's gonna be absolutely sad and horrendous but honestly I feel like the, the 11, 12 days that we were here or whatever how many so many days it was was like the perfect amount. I feel like anything less than this I wouldn't have been able to do all of the things and eat all of the things and see all the things that I wanted to do but I'm like leaving in a really good sweet spot where I don't have like big massive like oh man I couldn't do this and I really wanted to do this type of things on my list but I have like a couple small things that I'm like oh man if I had time I would have totally done this A B C D E and so it just gives me like this incentive to come back which I feel like is always nice first thing that we did was we went to the glasses place and you were the one to get an exam how did did you like that place yeah easy yeah, easy breezy. So much time. My dad was saying, like, in Korea, if you can't do it, get it done fast, you're going to be out of business for I a like lot that. of things. I yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. We can use some of that in the States. Yeah, <laughs> and he says it, it's because he's going back with us or he's going back with Andrew Oppa on the 30th and he was saying like he's gonna, it's like Sokhtoja. his heart is gonna burst every time he goes to America because everything is done slowly. Yeah. People move slower. Like yeah. he, holy shit, I thought I was a fast walker. My no. dad walks like freaking it. fast. Like he like walks it. so fast. Glasses place really in depth, really quick. He was getting frustrated with us at one point. Yeah. <laughs> because you were doing the left eye right eye thing and you know how you read off the numbers in front? Yeah. And then he keeps getting it wrong and I keep me being the annoying bitch that I am. I go, nope. <laughs> like just being so bad. like nope <laughs> you got it wrong and so he keeps reading a new set of numbers and I go wrong <laughs> and then the guy looks at me and he goes y y excuse me please can you not tell him if he's right or wrong <laughs> oh really he told you that <laughs> yeah apparently you're not supposed to know what? if you're right or wrong I learned that today rush to the teeth whitening place and like you guys heard about our whole conspiracy about the teeth whitening how Koreans have more whitening problems than the states and I just I truly think it's the coffee consumption and everything is so my dad thinks it's kimchi which I thought was weird and I don't agree with that one but he does agree that it is definitely coke and coffee everybody in you know back home drinks it ice with a straw but here everybody even with cold they don't use straws the doctor was like I really don't think you guys should do it because even when we whiten people's teeth they're still gonna be less white than y'all's teeth and then like the nurse at the end, she was like, what, what kind of toothpaste do you guys use? Shut up. Yeah. And my dad was like, oh, they're, they live in this. Funny place. that you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Selling it for. I was talking to my dad about it in the car again. And apparently like the, tooth, like the toothpaste in Korea is very light. It's not very minty. And maybe it doesn't have whitening effects too. And then he was saying like some people go as far as like if you're visiting people in Korea, like a good gift to bring is gum and toothpaste. Because nothing is minty here. Like, what? like even this gum. Oh my god, I bought this gum and it's sweet. It almost tastes like green apple. But this is like one of the mintier gums in Wait, Korea, why? apparently. No, I don't know. Not. They just don't. Do they oh my god, like smell it? this. Smell this, honey. This is supposed to be a mint gum. Ready? Do they not like it? Smell it. Yes, apple. Grapefruit, yeah. Whatever. I guess they don't like it. So I remember that my aunts would just bring suitcases of gum, like five gum from the gas station. Maybe that's our new business. We just bring some toothpaste and gum and call it a day. <laughs> we went to Heidi Lao Hot Pot instead, and my dad completely fell obsessed with that hot pot place. Since we sat down and all the food came, he was so happy. I've never seen him that happy for a meal. And I think it's because, like, Koreans, unless you've, like, had Heidi Lao or knew someone who knew Heidi Lao to introduce you it's not like that big of a franchise here for everyone to understand like what Chinese hot pot is because you know my family has always stayed away from Chinese hot pot because it's known to be extra flavorful be almost too flavorful. I think that was kind of like the perception. Then we went to Hongdae, which is Hongshik University's little college town vibes. They do a lot of shopping. They don't have a lot of street food, so don't go there if you're looking for like the quintessential street carts, but they have like so many skincare brands. I feel like it's more of a cleaner, modern, less tourist version of Myeongdong, but if you only had to go to one, because we went to both today, like Myeongdong is the place that we got all the street food. If you only had time for one, go to Myeongdong because you've got 
got all the skincare brands, you've got makeup brands, you've got clothing brands, you've got all the street food. It's gonna be hectic. People are gonna be bumping into you. It's gonna be nonstop. It's it's dirty over there, but it is so much more intense than Hongdae. Hongdae is kind of like if you have time, you want a chilled back, relaxed vibe, but you also want to like go to some weird things like the arcade. We went to the arcade. I was the only one that brought home something, so you could say that like she's killing it. She is the winner of today and the arcade was so fun it was like so it's like perfect for dates you could see all the guys sweating it trying to get some toys out the crane machines like the guys with the girls like the girls are like watching on the side like i love you but you better get this toy opa, 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 opa. <laughs> Then we go to Myeongdong, which is the street food place. Bring cash. It's so much fun. I'm going to show you guys the app right now that I've been using. And <laughs> you guys are going to see that I use McDelivery, which is literally McDonald's delivery. But I mainly use Kakao Metro. You guys have been asking me, like, how to get around. Maybe you guys aren't even Korean. Maybe you guys don't speak any Korean or better Korean than me. But, like, how do you maneuver in a city? If you guys want to kind of travel the way that I've been traveling, which you guys know I'm really bad at directions and stuff like that. So this has been such a lifesaver. It's absolutely so easy to use. Hashtag not spons, But, like, we've tried so many different apps between my sister, my sister and I, and her friend. There's so many apps have been downloaded and deleted. And the ones that keep sticking are Neighbor Maps. So I use two different apps and neighbor map is like literally a gps your google maps your apple maps none of that shit is gonna work in korea it's just it's ridiculous neighbor maps is like your go-to and so my dad even uses this as his navi when he's driving so you type in like any navigation your destination so then once you type it in like here's where it gets complicated you could type it into straight neighbor maps and it'll tell you how to get there what's the fastest route but then it'll tell you like sometimes oh take this subway get off here take this bus all of that i don't like that so usually i will just go into i'll google wherever i'm going and then type in korea subway station so if i'm going to street food and i type in myeongdong korean street food in english into google and put subway exit there's like so many trip advisors like all the places that you probably want to go like they all have like a preferred exit of the subway and everything and then i'll go into my subway app look for my nearest subway this is kakao metro and then i'll type in my closest subway destination and then i'll type in so this one is from is to myeongdong actually from a different place from um Hongdae, which is where we were. Oh, this would be like today's map if my dad wasn't driving us. And so it would have taken 20 minutes. It tells you how to transfer in English, how many stops you have. Like this will literally map out your subway, like everything. It's amazing. You can save them to your favorites. And then I'll go into neighbor maps. Once I get out of the freaking subway station and I'm like, oh, today I wanna go to this cafe. Then I'll type it in from the subway station and get to my destination. Easy breezy cover girl bits. <laughs> that was kind of today's crazy nonsensical day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I think I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna hit the shower and I love you guys so so much. I can't believe we've been here over a week and we still haven't used the bathtub. So maybe we'll do you that tonight. Do that? Yeah, maybe we'll get into bathtub. I love you guys so so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh -oh.